TGIF everybody, good evening, hi, hi everybody, how are you? Hi Guadalupe, Nelson, good evening, Nelson, oh my god, <laughs> Moses, I'm reading wrong, hi, good evening, hey Karina, Jackie, I'm super happy to see you there, uh, hi Pedrina, how are you, Clary, Jocelyn, how is your Friday going? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Everything good? Everything fine? Very good, Miss. Hello. Ay, nice. Hello. Did you have a good Friday? ¿Tuvieron un buen eh, viernes? Did you have a good one? Did you have a good day? Yes, I have. Okay, great, great. Are you resting tomorrow? Um, my case, no, but it's not for uh, my work. Mm -hmm. I need, I have a meet. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you need to go either way. Okay. Okay. But the good thing is that it's not for work. So I hope it's just kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So thanks, everybody. Gracias por unirse. Thank you for joining today's class. Estamos en la sesión número seis. Sorry, no, number seven. So we are working with unit number two. And today, pues, vamos a seguir trabajando un poquito con un repaso de, like, um, speaking practice, right? Like, some vocabulary. Los temas que estamos revisando no son temas nuevos. Entonces, nos da la oportunidad de trabajar un poco más de fluidez. And, of course, de ya empezar a pensar un poquito más en inglés, right? So, the idea of the topic no es tanto la gramática. It's not much um, writing things sino todo lo contrario, es enfocarnos ya en, en entenderlo, listening comprehension, y poder dar una respuesta as well. Um, before getting started, hi, Denise. Nice to hi, see you there. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, cool. Relax. Nice. Friday. Yes, I know, it's Friday, so uh, Fridays are good. Midnight. Yeah, Fridays are yeah. definitely nice. All right. Um, I'm missing some. Hi, Carlos. Good evening, Norbert. Hello. Good to see you. How are you doing? How are you, Moses? I see you're Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Okay. Are you working, guys? ¿Están todavía trabajando? Are you working? No. No, okay. my house. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Happy to hear that. That's really good to get home and rest a little bit. Okay, guys, so let me just uh, get started here. Voy a pasar primero asistencia. Um, so we can later go straight and start with our classes. Um, solo si me regalan confirmación verbal, please, and a little bit of help with your camera. That would be amazing. No. So, uh, Anita, no sé si ya está aquí Anita, Ana. Todavía no, Brian. Danis, ahí veo a Danis. Present. Gracias, Dolores. Eduardo. Guadalupe. Presente. Gracias, Jackie. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Jocelyn. Thank you, Miss. Enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> Ignacio. No, yet. Norbert. Present, teacher. Gracias, Norbert. Eh, Alex. Todavía no. Eh, Marvin López. Yeah. Eh, Clary. Hello, hello, Miss. I am here. There we go. Thank you so much. Um, Moses. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Nelson. No, Nelson, todavía. Eh, Pedrina. Well, I go for it. So I guess the microphone is not working. Hey, hi, Renee. How Teacher. are you? 
¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? I'm okay. Everything's good so far. What about you? Are you home? Are, oh, are you in the office? Right now in my home. Ah, qué genial. <laughs> nice. That's really good. All right. I like the color of your house. It looks very good. I love those Thanks. colors. <laughs> Richard. No yet, Mabel. Yet, Brenda. Carlos. Good evening, present. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia. And Karina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So let me just uh, get it started here. Let me present. Hi, Eduardo. Good evening. Good night, Miss. No worry, Miss. I got you. I'm glad to see you, Eduardo. Thanks a lot for joining. So I got Eduardo. I also got Pedrina. Eh, no mencioné alguien más. Did I miss anybody else? Um, Teacher. Hello. Present. Hola, Dolores. Thank you. Hola. Thank you so much. Okay, gotcha. Eh, let me see. I'm missing. Well, I'm missing some Alex. No, I don't see him. Marvin either. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining today's class. Eh, let's get started with the activities we have. Me alegra mucho verlos, especialmente un viernes, right? <laughs> and I know ya, es, ya nuestro cerebro va como, uff, <laughs> I need to rest. But thank you so much for, por el esfuerzo de estar acá, por acompañarnos, you know, and y estar super comprometidos, right, with your process. So um, let me just present part of the things que vamos a trabajar ahora. Eh, before getting started, eh, recordarles que tenemos one-on-one. -on -one. Today is eh, Friday the 27th. So Guadalupe, si me regala un par de minutitos eh, later, that would be perfect. That would be really good. Y si no, pues podemos reschedule, solo me avisa. So the first activity for today is a little warm up here. And I have like a question for you. It says, what do you prefer, going out or watching TV at home? So guys, what do you prefer from here? If you had to select or if you have to choose one of these two, which is your favorite, going out or staying at home and watching TV? In my case, I like to stay in my home, but uh, some, sometimes I go out with my brother, with my friends, <laughs> Okay. But when, but when I go out with my friend, always, uh, Drink a beer, uh, some, something like that. But oh. when when I but, but I prefer to stay in my home and I, I watch uh, TV series and Netflix. Oh, okay. But if you have to choose, if your friends are asking you to, to go out, right? If your friends are like, hey Rene, we miss you, please let's go with us. So which would you rather take? Uh staying at home or choosing your friends and going out? Sometimes I I prefer staying in my home, but oh. sometimes I I I told I let digo I talk to they to, to, mm -hmm. to them. Let digo hey, yeah, yes, I tell I, them. Uh -huh. I I tell them I I I we arrive at at nine, for example. Uh -huh. que en la, but I uh, I I like you lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm hungry. Uh -huh. I'm hungry. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> now everything <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> okay. No, but I. But you know, I totally understand. I understand Rene's point because, guys, I don't know if that happens to you. Después de cierta edad, you know, <laughs> we are like, oh no, I prefer <laughs> to stay at home. Man. No, I don't think he's kind of an old man, but <laughs> okay, so that is Rene's case. He prefers sometimes to stay at home. Okay, what about the rest of you? Which is which do you prefer? Staying at home or going out? Hola, mama. I in my case, I have the same situation. 
because sometimes I prefer staying my home and watching TV. Oh. But... <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do you but like to when... your friends as well? Yeah, but when I I like I go out, but when I uh, go to the a new place, oh, like a okay. mountain or beach, mm -hmm. I like. But I don't like too much go yeah. to the malls. Oh, okay, okay, like that it. makes sense. Okay, so you prefer when it's like going out, you prefer going like outdoors going walking you know or just going to places you don't know not malls not window shopping not like hey let's go for a cafe you know you're not that type of person <laughs> okay an adventure. oh you prefer adventure okay that's really good to hear i prefer what about... watching tv you prefer watching tv oh yes. wait but you just mentioned René <laughs> lied to you. <laughs> ya no sabíamos, okay. antes salíamos seguido. Oh, not anymore. All, all, all Fridays. Oh. All Fridays. All, all Fridays. Okay, all so days. now you are well-behaved people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you prefer staying at home. Guys, what about the rest of you? I got like a lot of people here. So Can what do you prefer? Going out. Going out. Yeah. Anywhere? Moist? And Restaurants, a mountains, beach. beach. Okay, or yeah, just beach. the beach. Yeah. Okay, so you prefer just going to the beach. All right. What about the rest of you? Not a bird. Carlos, Dolores, Eduardo. What about you guys? Teacher, um, yeah? in my case, I am better in my in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, watch TV. You prefer uh, to stay at home. Yes, the 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 Netflix, uh, YouTuber, or um, cable. Okay, sorry, like TV. So you prefer to stay at home and watch a movie, watch a series, watch a novela, yeah. soap opera. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so what what soap opera are you watching right now? ¿Cuál es la novela que está viendo? <laughs> or the series that is the same. Only what series? What do you, what are you watching right now? ¿Qué está viendo? What are you watching? Um, it's, it's a it's a series de de traffic. Oh, okay. Traffic. Okay. So traffic like drug dealing, tráfico de drogas. Mm -hmm. Sí, lo único que el, el, el jefe ha estudiado, eh, de hecho lleva una carrera y estudiaba en China. Oh, ok. Mm. Ok. Oh, wait. Suena ah, como una, wait, suena como una novela que vi hace tiempo. <laughs> ok. No, that's all right. I mean, I totally get your point. So at some point, it is better to stay at home and watch a series. What about the rest of you guys? What do you prefer? I prefer staying in at home at home. Mm -hmm. Do but, you have uh huh? But uh, my friend called me mm -hmm. for go out. I mm -hmm. I like to. Oh okay. So if you have like an invitation, it's okay for you. So you go. You will go. Oh yes. okay okay yeah. I just you know talking about this. I just remember. Um, Brian made an invitation for us right now that I mentioned invitation so like <laughs> six or seven months ago <laughs> we are still de waiting enero, esa, esa de yeah, de enero, from January oh my god y vamos en el mes ocho. so eight months ago Brian um, invited us to go for <laughs> football society I think I don't remember so <laughs> todavía, todavía we are missing yeah so that is kind of going up, right? So um, yeah, that could be like just to eat, to do some activities. Interesting to listen to you guys. Then let's just move on a little bit and let's talk about que tan a menudo lo hacemos, how often we do some of these activities. First, I have a little, um, like, uh, like a little survey, like a little questionnaire for you. 
it says uh, answered the following questions we have right here. And I have four different answers for each question. I just want you to tell me which answer applies to you. For example, number one, how often do you listen to classical music? Right. How often in my case, I listen every every day uh, uh, instrument music. Ah, okay. Oh, but in your case, because you are musicians, right? So with Alex, uh huh. So you're musicians. Yeah. Got it. What about the rest? Who listens to classical music? How often do you listen to that kind of music? In my case, I would say rarely. Moises, I heard you said rarely as well, right? Yes, rarely. Okay, what well, often? Oh, okay. What about the rest? I never. Never? Okay. Yeah, for classical music, I don't think it's very yeah. common. Mm -hmm. What about number two? How often do you sing, right? In the bath or shower? So when you're taking a shower, how often do you sing? Frequently. In the bath? Frequently, wow. What type of music do you do you sing? Uh, I don't know, different music, but the- Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> and he dances like Shakira too. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, uh, salsa music? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, salsa music. What about the rest? Who normally sings in the shower? Every day. Every day? Often, yeah. Miss. Often. What type of music yes. do you sing, Clary? Um, the band Coldplay. Oh, Coldplay. Like. All right. Yes. Oh, Jocelyn says always. Wow, that sounds great. What about the rest? How often do you sing? Uh, me, often. Often, what type of music do you sing? Um, classic. No kidding. Classical music, for example? Um, in English. But a kind of classical music or 80s and 90s music? Can you tell, mm, us, the, can you tell us the name? For example, what song do you sing? Do you remember any name of the song? Yeah, or can you sing for us? Can you cambiar el coro? Can you sing for us the chorus of the song? Hola. No. <laughs> Sorry, I muted you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes? I like uh, classic music. For example, Carmina Burana, this is a opera. Wow. Do, do you normally sing and listen to opera, Alex? Más o menos regular, o sea, eso ya no fue sin leve. El Barbero Servía, el cuarto movimiento, por ejemplo. Wow. En esa Carmina Burana. Y hay un par de óperas ahí que son buenas. Wow. But the thing is that you're musicians, so also you kind of play them, right? So you're into this kind of music. Very interesting. Okay. So opera. I have never thought about singing opera when taking a shower, <laughs> but that would be a very nice thing to do, right? René sings too. René sings. Oh, okay. Okay. So what type of music does he sing? <laughs> Que cante un pedacito. Yeah. No, 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 ahorita no va a contestar. Oh, he's busy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I sing, but maybe just my favorite song, and that's it. <laughs> I take a shower really fast most of the time. So no me da tiempo. I don't have time for singing a song. <laughs> uh -huh, so that is the point. Okay. Okay. Interesting. What about this one, guys? Uh, how often do your parents listen to the same music as you? Do you have the same taste in music genre? Do your parents and you like the same music? No. No? No. My, what type of music? Uh-huh. Sorry. <laughs> no, go, go, uh, go. In, okay, in my case, uh, most of the time we listen the same because I wow. prefer, I like the music that they like. 
Oh, for example, uh -huh. Richard, Menu, <laughs> uh, Selena Quintanilla is my favorite. And my mom loves <laughs> when oh. we stay at home and cleaning or doing something. Mm -hmm. We put that music and always stay to listen so, together. With the highest oh. volume you can. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, very interesting. So you have the same music taste as your mother. Wow, it's not yeah. very common, I have to say, because our parents prefer other music, or we prefer other music. N nice, nice. I but like pop. I like pop music uh, and others, but but when I stay with my mom, mm -hmm. always it's the same because oh. I like. Oh. The okay, same. no, but it's nice. It's really good that you share something. What about you guys? Do you like the same type of music or do you listen to different ones? For example, in my case, I like the 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 same music my 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 mother listen. Oh, listen, because it's sometimes my mother uh, uh, do a. Uh, or for example, uh, uh, she does the cleaning. Uh huh. She, she, she does, does the cleaning. cleaning. Uh, and, and, and she listens to the, uh, the music. And always, uh, my mother always lis listens to Arjona or, or different kind of romantic music. Oh. And I like. Oh, okay. So it is not only classical music, you also listen to romantic music. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant only classic mu cl classical music. Oh, okay, but that is nice. Well, in my case, not really. My mom is a Christian, you know, so she listens to all of this Christian music, and I'm more into musica mundana. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm more into modern music. Oh. So normally we listen to different things. Uh huh. Yeah. What about you? My mom is uh, religious music. A religious too. Okay. Yeah. yeah so very similar uh, to my. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I listen to her music, but it's not that it's kind of the one that I listen to every day. So it's just a little yeah. different. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about this one? Do how often do you listen to music while you are doing homework? Well, in general, do you listen to music a lot or not really? How often do you listen to music when you are studying or when you are working? Yes. Sometimes. Often? Sometimes? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. sometimes. Time. What type of music do you play when you are working? Like relaxed, yes. relaxing oh. music? Or... Uh -huh. music. music. Oh, can you repeat that, please, Moses? I like uh, the King of Music, uh, all type of music. All kind of music? Okay. Yeah, to not sleep, I put the music and uh, boy singing. Okay. For no dormir, yo que manejo así largos tramos. Oh, okay. So when you're driving, you're playing some music. And do uh, you sing it? Do you sing it too? Or just play it? Excuse me, teacher. Do you sing the, the songs or you just play the, the music? Or do you try to sing it? No. <laughs> You're not too much into singing. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that we can sing very well, just that we like singing, right? Um, so, for example, when I'm working, uh, so not, not classes, because when I'm, when I'm having classes, I don't like listening to music because I cannot concentrate. <laughs> so that, that's for me. But normally, um, when I'm doing other activities or doing homework or studying a book or reading a book, I listen to Trova, for example, super relaxing music. Have you ever heard Trova songs? Silvio Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I really like it. Do you like that kind of music? Silvio yes, Rodriguez, yes. Parra, Los Guarawao, yeah. kind of. Uh, well, well. Uh, no. <laughs> eh, ¿cómo se llama eso? No, but I like it. Uh -huh. But not for working. <laughs> no, that's super cool. I like it yeah. when I feel down. So when I'm like, oh, today has been a bad day for me, I listen to Mago de Oz. And that, you know, 
makes me feel better. That definitely yes. makes me feel I, better. I, I like the Mago de Oz. I like yeah. yes, so, To make yeah. me feel better, yes. For to study, no. Because I'm with, no, I'm with the you? book what? and I'm singing. <laughs> so I cannot yeah. do, do, do things. Uh -huh. Okay, what about this one? Number five. Do, how often do you buy CDs? Guys, do you buy CDs? No. No? no. Does anybody buy CDs? I, I, I remember, remember I both. <laughs> yeah. I remember I I both uh both of the deep when I was a, a young with my brother. I remember it existed uh see man no, no me acuerdo como se llama, but I, I even the solo solo series. Oh, I remember I centro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I I I, I remember I, I bought a bought a song 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 CDs. Some CDs. Okay. Yes. Okay. I mean, yes, I remember when I was younger, I bought some pajarito version, right? <laughs> so that was yes. bad, but I did it. I didn't have much money to buy an original one. But now, do you still buy CDs? Does anybody buy CDs? No, right. I don't think it's common anymore. Or do you pay for a Spotify, for the example? Uh, no. No? Nobody no. pays for a subscription? No. Music subscription? Download. Okay, yeah, free download. Exactly. Yeah. You can download the music. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about number six? How often do you go to live concerts? Yes. Live concerts? Did you ever yeah. go to one? How often? Yes. Uh, oh. Rarely. Rarely? Rarely. Okay, yeah. Cuando se puede. Okay, whenever yeah. you can. I mean, now yeah. it's difficult because there are more restrictions. But in the past, did you ever go to a, a, a live concert? Yes. In my case, no. I have never been to a live concert. What no, about you? Yes. yes. Yes, Maiden. Okay. Maiden. Okay. What about the rest of you? Sin pena, guys. En el de Romeo Santos, say it. <laughs> it's okay. Ricardo, Ricardo. Oh, you see. I know some people who like it. Have you been to Romeo Santos concert? No. Yes, I, I remember I went to the Romeo Santos concert when I when I was a uh, a young with a uh, with a friend a friend and I I I like. You liked it. Okay. Okay. That's yes. okay. We are not going to criticize you. I mean, we are really open minded. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Have you been to a concert before? Um, Mabel, Brian, Richard, I see also Nelson. What about you guys? Have you been to a concert? How often do you go to a concert or did you go to a concert? Nobody else? Teacher, um, only the events, the company. Oh, okay. Only the one from the company. But do they pay for a singer? No. No. Okay. So it's only an event. All right. That's okay. What about the last one? No. No, in your case, no, you haven't been to a concert. Okay. The last one says, how often do you play the piano, the guitar, musical instruments? As far as I know, we have only uh, Rene and Alex who are musicians. Um, what about the rest of you? I don't remember if anybody else plays musical instruments. Karina, I think you were the one. No. Can, no? no. No. Okay, Danis, can you play any musical instrument? Guitar. Okay, the guitar. How often do you play it? Yeah. Oh, Jocelyn, that's right. You play the piano. How often do you oh. play it? She should give us a concert, right? <laughs> like, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, to present your skills, what you can do. Anybody else can play musical instruments, guys? Drums, guitar. Violin. Often. Never. Never. Yeah. I would like to, to learn how to play the guitar. That's the oh often. Okay. Okay. Got it. So I remember when uh -huh. I was a uh, kid, I was in room listening the battery. I oh, like the drums. 
Yes, drums. Can you play drums? I don't remember, but <laughs> the bass, only the bass. Okay, I mean it's a matter of practice, right? But yeah, I would definitely like to to learn to play the guitar or the violin. My dream, my dream is to play guitar or piano. Oh, okay. Mine is to play the guitar or the violin. So, si saben del lugar where I can go, I would like to go. Uh, yeah, or electric guitar. I mean, just guitar in general. <laughs> I think it would be. I would really like to. Uh, okay. Thank you, like you Pedrina. Violin. Yeah, violin or um, or the guitar because I don't have the. You know, I think it's an ability. So yeah. I really admire people who play musical instruments because uh, I am like. Creo que soy sorda. <laughs> Talking about music, <laughs> I cannot distinguish sounds. Yeah, so I would like to. Okay. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the following thing we are going to be checking today. Vamos a revisar un poquito para hablar de esto, right? To talk about how often we do these activities. So here we have, for example, I heard in some of your answers using the word always. So always is to talk about activities that we do kind of every day, right? We have, for example, 100%. 90%, so we have usually, always, usually. Please repeat with me. Vamos a repetirlo solamente. Repeat with me. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. Usually. Normally. Normally. Generally. 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 Often. 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 I do. There are two. You can say often or you can say often, right? Personally, yo prefiero often porque es más rápido, but it is oh. up to you. So often or often, both are good. Next one, frequently. Frequently. Next one, sometimes. 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 Okay, no, it's sometimes. 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 Mm -hmm. Sometimes? Yes, sometimes. Fuerte, sometimes. Time. Mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes. No, sometimes, but sometimes. Uh -huh. Occasionally. Occasionally. Seldom. Seldom. So, if you take a look, seldom is 10%. So, it's como bien raro, right? Seldom. Next one, hardly ever. Oh, hardly ever. Uh, the hardly ever that is here sería nuestro casi nunca, right? So I hardly ever do it. Yo casi nunca lo hago. Next one is rarely. 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 So hardly ever or rarely or seldom, los tres se parecen mucho. The three of them are very, very uh, similar. And the last one we have is never. Never. Never, exactly. Never. So nunca, right? I never do it. So that is not an activity I do. Never. All right. Good. Um, so let's take a look at the examples, please. Guadalupe, ayúdame con el primero. Help me with these four examples. Okay. I always go to could go to the bed before uh, 11 p.m. Continue, please. And I usually I have cereal for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I normally go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Thank I you offer, very much. Oh, continue, continue. I offer through the internet. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Dolores, can you please continue? I sometimes. Um, Here. I, some, I sometimes forget my wife, Billy. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. I occasionally mm -hmm. eat junk food. Junk food. Mm -hmm. Yes. I seldom mm -hmm. read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever drink alcohol. All right. And the last one? I never swim in the sea. 
All right, thank you very much. Exactly, so we have activities that people never do. For example, I seldom read the newspaper. Yo casi nunca lo hago, yo raramente lo hago. So I seldom read it. I hardly ever drink alcohol, right? So I hardly ever drink it. Or I never swim in the sea. Maybe I swim in a, in, in a swimming pool, maybe in a river, but not in the sea. So here we have like how often we do these activities. Guys, let's repeat uh, some of the words here. Um, repitamos esta, birthday. Birthday. Junk. 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 Food. 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 Alcohol. Alcohol. Como una J, alcohol. 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 Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí. La última, sí. Como un sí de nosotros, right? Like a sí en español, sí. Exactly. So, alcohol and sí. Okay? Very good. Um, so, let's just remember this. Um, this one is un aproximado. I'm not saying this is the way it goes, but normally así lo utilizamos. For example, if I tell you... I watch TV una vez a la semana, so I watch TV once a week. ¿Cuál podríamos utilizar de estas? Which can we use? No puede ser always, because no es todo el tiempo. So I watch a week once a week. Normally, okay, I normally watch TV, or I sometimes watch TV, right? If I tell you, if I tell you, for example, I check my cell phone all the time. I am with my phone all the time. What can I use? Mm, usually. Usually. Usually, always. Exactly, porque es como más frecuente. What if I tell you? I go to the beach once, one time every two or three years. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I heard you like, oh. <laughs> okay, so if I tell you, I go to the beach once or one time every one or every two or three years. ¿Qué tan a menudo sería? How often would it be? Remember, no, es una respuesta, no hay una respuesta correcta. So you can tell me, in your case, what do you consider the frequency would be? Occasionally, okay. Es como bien, bien, Poco probable, right? No es muy común, Moses. Mm -hmm. Probably seldom, probably hardly ever, right? No es que never, sino que no es muy común. So, of course, we can use occasionally, seldom, sometimes, quizás no, porque es como un poco más común. So, that is the idea. We can use different ways to talk about a frequency. Again, no hay respuestas de que esté bien o esté mal here, because solamente es how often. Pero sí hay un orden específico. And let's take a look at the order for the following sentences. So, I just need two volunteers to help us read this part. Let me see. Thank you, Moses. Hey, Richard. How are you? Good evening. Nice, nice. Great. Ya está mejor. Are you 100? Nítido. Excelente. I am happy to hasta, hear that. Hasta además estamos viendo ahora. Ah, ok. No, pero qué bueno. Me alegra, you know. Because I know your job is un poco complicated. But thank you so much. So, Moses, you can help me with Mr. Mott. And, uh, and Richard, well, me puede ayudar con Jennifer. Okay. So, you can help me with that part. Mm -hmm. Señorita Jennifer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Señorita Laura, pensé que iba a decir. Okay. <laughs> Go, please. No, no. Okay. Hello, Richard. How is it going? Hello, Moses. Good evening. Hello. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Just uh, find Mr. Mott. Uh, I am uh, just checking the number of footprints. Uh, how coming in a regular basis. basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about net marketing strategies and uh, i want to know some things tell me Stu. how often do we change the menu um we will seldom check in the menu uh however we are promoting a tester every week do we ever give a promotional lighting 
No, sir. We never do. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's take a look at this. Question number one. How often do they change the menu? How often do they do it? Seldom. Seldom, exactly. So seldom, right? Casi nunca. Um, do they give promotional items? Like Never. extra food? Never, exactly. So they are talking about here about like a little restaurant, right? Si dan promociones, if they give some promotions, etc. Um, and also, of course, if they give any sort of, um, yeah, promotional items and changing the menu. So if we pay attention, I want you to take a look at the following. Primero, como se pregunta, how often do you, how often do we, right? And la posición de los frequency um, adverbs va acá. We seldom, we never. So if we are talking about how often we do some activities, siempre va a ir de esa forma. Let's check it out. We have a subject. Then we are going to include the adverb, right? Que son estos, always, never, sometimes. Y luego tenemos el verbo, et cetera, et cetera. So if I want to talk about que tan a menudo yo, algo, yo hago algo, so I always, I'm going to use this expression. Or this order, I always. No lo puedo poner en otra posición porque sonaría un poco extraño. So I always get up early, yeah? I always, siempre pongo tres alarmas. I always have three alarm clocks, okay? So I always, I never, I sometimes. So siempre se ponen antes del verbo. We always place them before the verb. I never, I hardly ever. Si es tercera persona, lo mismo. That is going to be exactly the same. Uh, for example, I can say Guadalupe, um, often, arrives early, right? So, no me va a cambiar esta, sino que siempre voy a utilizar tercera persona. Pero la posición en la que estoy poniéndolo es exactly after the subject. Now, tenemos dos tipos de verbos, as you may remember. Uno son los verbos comunes y el otro, the other one, es el verbo to be. Que to be es bien especial. It's very, very special. So, con to be, cambia un poquito el orden. It changes a little bit. Because with to be, no lo voy a poner sujeto. No voy a decir, for example, I always am. Um, that wouldn't be correct. Con el verbo to be, me va a cambiar. Always va a ir después del verbo to be. Significa que tengo sujeto, verbo to be, y luego voy a tener el adverbio. So, Vamos a practicar a little bit. We're going to practice a little. So, um, siempre estoy temprano. I am always early. I am always early. All right? Now, if I want to say, for example, yo nunca estoy enojada. I am, siempre, I am. I am never late, for example, right? Or I say, for example, um, normally lo utilizamos bastante con adjetivos. So, este complemento is like, goes like this. Or, for example, my sister is um, often outside the house, right? So often, she is outside the house. So, normalmente no está en la casa. She is often. But if you check again, primero el verbo to be, y luego va el adverb, right? Now, can you give me some examples utilizando el verbo to be? Puede ser sobre personalidad, a dónde están, where you're not, etc. So, can you give me some examples with always? Like, yo siempre estoy contento, yo siempre soy servicial, you know. Yo siempre soy, eh, no sé, una persona bien limpia, bien ordenada, right? So, what would be yours? What would be your example? Always, they never. Are, yes. They, I never buy so, anything. Mm, pero en ese caso utilizamos el verbo buy. Significa que vamos con la estructura, la estructura de arriba. So, I never, or I always buy. Siempre que sea otro verbo, vamos con la de arriba. <laughs> we go with the down in upper. Okay. Ahora, pensemos en un, en, una, en un adjetivo. Pensemos en personalidad, en sentimientos, right? Enojado, enfermo, 
Yes. Child, child. I never cry. Uh, I never cry. Okay. That would be the first. Okay. Moses, I'm sorry. No le logré escuchar. I never sad. Very nice. I'm never sad. Exactly. Exactly. What else? Richard? Creo que escuché a Richard por ahí. Okay, okay. I am uh, outway drink uh, Coca-Cola. Okay, I always drink Coca-Cola. Sería la primera, yes. sin el verbo to be. Very nice. I always drink Coca-Cola. Okay, so let me help you. Les voy a ayudar un poquito con las de abajo, que creo que son las que pueden costar un más. Remember, in Spanish, este es yo soy o yo estoy, right? For example, si yo quiero decir yo siempre estoy a tiempo, how can I say that? Okay. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo siempre estoy a la hora, yo siempre estoy a tiempo o puntual? I am on time. Always on time. Exactly. I am always on time. That is the expression, on time. Okay. If I say, for example, eh, well, ya tengo early, ya tengo late, I can say, for example, eh, soy, let me see, voy a utilizar la palabra helpful, que es servicial. So give me an example with you, uh, a personal example con la palabra helpful. I am never helpful. I am always helpful. ¿Cuál aplica para ustedes? I am always helpful. Okay. So then it's in your case, I'm always helpful. What about the others? What about this one? Talkative. What about talkative? Como hablantín, right? Are you always talkative? Sometimes, how often are you talkative? ¿Qué tan a menudo andan con ganas de hablar mucho? ¿O son muy hablantines? Uh -huh. I am often, teacher. I am often, okay, very talkative. We have, for example, the word shy, right? Les voy a agregar acá, por ejemplo, esta shy, que es tímido. Like, oh, yo soy tímida. I'm always very shy. I don't like talking to people. Or, for example, nosy. ¿Alguien sabe el significado de nosy? Do you know the meaning of nosy, guys? This is like a uh, ruidosa. Eh, oh, también está noisy. Se parecen bastante. They are very similar. Pero una letrita es la que hace la diferencia. So, noisy, this one, es ruidoso. Exactly. Cuando alguien hace mucho ruido, right? But the other one is nosy. Nosy es como en inglés, en español, <laughs> en español de calle, sería como... Alguien se le activó el, el rinto, my guess. So, nosy es como meque, you know? Como cuando nos entrometemos en, en cosas que no nos convienen, ¿ok? So, that is nosy. Como meque. Ok, that is the one. Uh -huh. Kind of, kind of. So, denme ejemplos. What about you? ¿Cómo es su personalidad? What, what is your personality like? I, I, I am always, always nosy. Noisy, de ruidoso, no, or nosy? Sí. No, el otro, el otro. De, el otro un, un poquito, ok, got it. Metidito. Ok, ok, let's go. Sure. What about the rest? Uh -huh. Give us some. Give us some, guys. Denos más. Give us more ideas. ¿Cómo son ustedes? O como, I mean, how do you behave? Um, so, for example, we have sick, like, las personas que siempre se enferman, like, oh, I'm always sick. Uh, I'm always with a headache. So, we get sick as well. Sometimes. I am, oh, I am sometimes. Never, never sick. You're never sick. Okay, yeah. that's a good example. So, what else? Tell us about your personality. Um, también tenemos palabras un poco negativas, right? For example, I'm going to add uh, this one, que es stubborn. So, stubborn, <clears throat> sorry, the word stubborn es como alguien cabeza dura, in the sense 
Or we can use the word necio, right? Alguien que es bien difícil cambiarle de opinión. So stubborn. Como testarudo, right? So um, I am always very stubborn. <laughs> okay, so stubborn is that. Como testarudo. De, que, si ya dijo esto, pues, you know, it's going to try to go for it. So are you a stubborn? Are you this kind of person? Not really. Y tengo una más que les voy a agregar acá. Y es la última that is kind of bad, que es grumpy, right? Tenemos la palabra angry, pero angry es solo un momento que usted puede estar molesto por una situación. Pero la palabra grumpy es una persona que siempre está como... Um, de mal genio, ok, <laughs> que está renegando por todo, you know, <laughs> a person who is, tal vez no molesta todo el tiempo, pero sí como, um, yeah, enojona, o enojón, right, <laughs> ok, are you a grumpy person? Grumpy. Son un poco enojones, are you grumpy? Yes. No. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I so grumpy. So grumpy no es enojado, sino es como enojón. A person that all the time is like, hey, hello, how are you? Um, it's okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> como, no, uh -huh. so that is the idea of grumpy. So, denme un ejemplo, guys. Give me some examples, ya sea con la primera estructura or with the second structure. Let me listen to you. Yes, anybody? I am always a smile. Oh, a smiley, really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, anybody else? Teacher, I can say I, I am always hungry. Angry or hungry? Hungry. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Okay, really. Is that for real or just an example? No, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> example, okay, example. yeah. No, but that's a good example. I'm always hungry. Okay, okay, okay. What yeah. else? I always uh, brush my teeth. I always brush my teeth. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Que más? Sometimes feel no. Yes, I sometimes feel. Mm -hmm. I sometimes feel sediento. Thirsty. Feel thirsty. Oh, you sometimes feel thirsty. Uh huh. Thirsty. That's sediento. Okay. I sometimes feel thirsty. I am seldom sick. I am seldom sick. Okay. Uh, we have also the expression stressed out. Que la podemos, remember, todas estas las podemos utilizar con la segunda estructura, right? They go with the second structure. So, for example, if I want to say, me siento estresada, for example, so we can use this one. Eh, I am always stressed out. So, stressed out eh, significa en las dos expresiones, estresado o estresada, right? I'm always stressed out. Siempre estoy estresada. Uh, anybody? Alguien se siente toda la vida estresado, estresado? No. Almost always. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Almost always. I thought you would tell me never. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> my co-worker. Because of your co-workers. Okay. No, but that's bad. All right. Preguntas con frequency words? Preguntas con frequency adverbs? Oh, estamos bien. Are we good? Okay, so, okay, let, let's go, let's practice. Si surgen más preguntas or any question in the way, you know, so we can definitely attack them immediately. So here we have, write sentences about the activities you do at the workplace using the following adverbs. Como no es un tema nuevo, no les voy a pedir que lo escriban. Quiero que lo armen, you know, que lo armen en el aire, que lo armen en su mente. Piénsenlo y sobre todo organícenlo. Vean como acá, sujeto, adverb, verb, ¿ya? Yeah? So no lo escriban, don't write it down. 
solamente denme las opciones. Give me the sentences. Give me the examples. Always, que es algo que siempre hacen. I always wake up 6 a.m. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, I always wake up at 6 a.m. All right, got it. Anybody else? Always? I always watch a series on Netflix. Okay, thank you. What about seldom? Seldom, remember? Uh -huh. I am always uh, check to email in the work. I always check my email, exactly. What about seldom? An activity that you seldom do? Remember, seldom is rara vez, raramente, right? So seldom? I seldom go to the shore. I seldom go to the church. Okay, good. So seldom, right? Mm -hmm. Anita? I seldom, I seldom drink beer. You seldom drink beer, Guadalupe? I seldom uh, work on Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. That sounds great. I Yeah, me too. I seldom work on um, Sundays. What about rarely? Es el mismo que seldom. We are going to skip it. What about sometimes? Algo que hagan de vez en cuando, sometimes. I sometimes. Norbert, go Norbert, sin miedo. Sin miedo al éxito, guys, let's do it. Sometimes, sometimes I annoy my brother. Sometimes I? Annoy. I annoy. Oh, like I tease, I tease my brother. Okay, okay, okay. I like that word. I like it a lot. Um, ahora que menciona esa palabra, let me just come and voy a borrar esto. And I'm going to bring that word over. I think it's important. So la palabra annoyed is de molestar, pero eh, en el sentido de algo me molesta. Pero, permítanme, annoy. Pero sí, es como molestar de... Les cuando las cosas, le pego. <risa> ok, and things like those, o algo de hermanos, podría ser la palabra eh, tease, que es mucho más como de jugar, you know. So, tease, es como cuando estábamos pequeñitos y nuestros hermanos no, nos hacían burla, you know, nos quitaban las cosas, things like those. So, eso es más un tease. Eh, so, creo que no es con intención, René, de molestarlo, sino que como bromeando, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Entonces podríamos utilizar tease. Normally yeah. I tease. Uh -huh. I tease my brother. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that would uh, be. Yes. I am sometimes uh, a real in in bus. Oh, I sometimes arrive in bus. Okay. El, el resto del tiempo and the rest of the time. Uh, No, eh, no sé si me, me comprendió, eh. que rara vez eh, viajo en bus. Oh, ok, ok. So, quizás como para rara vez podríamos utilizar hardly ever, because sometimes me da la idea que es un 50-50, you know? Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. I hardly ever, right? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I hardly ever. Sometimes es como, digamos, dos días en bus, dos días en motocicleta, you know, es como un 50-50. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever is okay, seldom, rarely, mm -hmm. they are perfect. Now, guys, let's jump to never and hardly ever. So, ¿qué es lo que nunca hacen? What are activities you never do? I never eat or liver. You never eat como el, 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 el hígado, yeah. liver, okay. You never eat liver? <laughs> okay. What about the rest? I never? I never order smoking. You never smoke? You never order? Yes, yeah, smoke. I never order uh, food delivery. Oh, okay. I never order delivery. Okay, good. What about the rest? Clary? Uh, Dolores? Marvin? Nelson? What about you guys? Jackie? Carlos? What is something you never do? I never visit the church. Okay. When you say uh, never, it's like never ever or hardly ever. Uh, never, never. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Now, esa es mi respuesta corta. What about long answers? Wait, tenemos que explicar un poquito más. You have to give 
definitely more information. So let's take a look at the following. Tengo por acá un par de ejercicios, so help me complete them, please. Number, it says, rewrite the sentences and use the adverbs of frequency in brackets. Again, no es un tema nuevo, así que lo vamos a hacer oralmente. We're going to try to put it orally. Um, number one, so la primera es para... Da, 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 da. La primera es para Claudia. Number one is for Claudia. Number two is for Karina. Number three is for Clary. Number four is for, the, let me see. Debo a Nelson aquí. So number four is for Nelson. And let's check the others in a couple of minutes. So number one, Anita, tiene la número uno. Do you have number one? Excuse me, teacher. No worries, miss. Ayúdeme, eh, ayúdeme a ponerla en orden. Help me put it in order. Solo la primera. Only number one, please. I am rarely... Late. For the school in the morning. Excellent, exactly. So I am rarely late. Perfect, you did it nicely. Number two. Okay. Sam occasionally goes out with his friends. Very good. What about number three? And usually serve the next in the evening. Thank you so much, Clary. What about number four? Okay. My Nelly. best friend, mm -hmm. my best friend never take photos at the school. Very good. That is the correct order. What about number five, a uh, Moses? Hey, hey. Five, yes, number five, con la del verbo to be. Mm -hmm. They are often at home in the evening. Exactly, they are often at home, very good. Number six, let me see, number six. Da, 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 da. Uh, Alex, is that por acá? Are you around? I think he's working. Um, Carlos, are you around? Hello? Hello, can you help us with number six? Exercise number six, please. Okay. Just putting in order uh, or, the, yeah, putting in order el frequency adverb que está al final, hardly ever. Se mutió, Carlos. You're muted. Hello. And there you go. This way I am the organization that works. Okay, no problem. So we can wait for you. Richard. Yes, Richard. Okay. Yeah. yeah, while Carlos eh, organiza las seis, let's go with number seven. That's okay. We will come back for that one. So number seven, guys, we speak English in English classes. Donde ponemos el always? Where can we put it? We always. We always speak English in English classes. Very class good. We are. Exactly. That is the one. Yes, Carlos? Yes. What is it? Ted hardly ever reads magazine about fashion. Perfect. There we go. Exactly. So just remember, el verbo to be cambia. Lo ponemos el frequency advert después, como lo hicieron at the beginning. 
I am rarely, um, they are often, right? Los demás iban después de I always, I never, I sometimes. Okay, very good. I have some questions for you. Most of the questions son sobre frecuencia, but I don't want you to just answer con un sí o un no, right? That is not the idea. O con un always and never. For example, number one says, how often do you order delivery food? But quiero que den un poquito más de información. So guys, how often do you order delivery food? No. Um, Sometimes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes order uh, delivery food mm -hmm. just during weekend. Mm -hmm. What type of delivery do you prefer to order? Uh, pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So that means como más detalles, right? Give me like a lot of details you can. What about the rest? Thank you, Karina. What about the rest of you? How often do you order delivery food? Rarely. Tell me more. Prefer, Tell me more. I prefer, I prefer uh, cooking in, in my in my house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. What about the rest? How often do you order delivery food? Give me details, guys. Más detalles. Give me details. I never order delivery food because I bring food to work. Oh, okay. What about in your house? How often do you order delivery food in your house? It's rarely. Why? Uh, I'm going to uh, buy in the restaurant. Oh, okay, because you prefer to go to the place and pick the food. Okay, yes. so that is exactly what we gotta do, right? Dar un poco más de detalles. Siempre después del how often, pregúntense por qué, why, right? Um, so why? Porque, yes? I don't order the delivery food because when the order uh, arrival is sometimes it's not complete. Mm, okay. Or, or the piece of, of chicken is deleted. Okay. <laughs> wow. Small. Okay, so there are some pieces missing. Okay, yeah. that's a very nice one. Okay, I see your point. So let's take a look. Tenemos number three, eat junk food, right? Como comida eh, chatarra, so junk food. Eh, we have number nine, how often do you lift weight? So lift weight is levantar pesas, right? How often do you lift weight? Especialmente lift weight. No ir al gimnasio, sino levantar pesas, you know? So any type of exercise you do. And how often do you ride the bicycles? Creo que los demás verbos ustedes los conocen. So I will not delay you that long. Please, tomemos una captura. We are going to move to the groups y vamos a entrevistar a los compañeros. Please, tomen respuesta, tomen nota de las respuestas. ¿Por qué? Right? Siempre después de una pregunta, eh, no nos quedemos con yes, no, maybe, always. Demos más información. Give more information, more details, you know. 10 segundos más que den. That is definitely a lot of information. Like, how often do you order delivery food? Well, I never order delivery food because my area is too dangerous, you know. And the delivery no entra. <laughs> the delivery doesn't get to my neighborhood. I mean, cualquier respuesta that you want to give, that's acceptable. Exactly, because my area is dangerous. Or because I prefer cooking. I don't like uh, calling a person and taking my food. Or Carlos nos dijo porque le, le hace falta algo siempre. So I don't like it because <laughs> it is not complete. Because I am missing chicken <laughs> or I am missing a piece. Yeah, so that is the point. Den un poquito más. A little more, guys. A little more. No solamente sino try to give a little more uh, description. Y nos va a dar eso mucho más vocabulario to talk. So, I'm going to send you to the groups. Tenemos exactamente cinco minutos, right? Only five minutes. Go listen, practice. Y tomen nota, please. Luego les vamos a escuchar las respuestas de los compañeros. So, let's do it. Five minutes. Join. Unámonos a los grupos.
Let's go, guys. Si alguien tiene dificultades para entrar, let me know. In the weekend. Only in the weekend. A menudo, see, sí, only in the weekend. Uh, I am drinking a, a soda. Okay. Me too, I, I drink soda on weekend. Mm. Um, excuse me. Me too. I drink soda on weekends. Yo también tomo soda los fines de semana. Ah. Uh, yes. The, the Coca Cola, Pepsi. I, I like the cola champán. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Quién más está en el grupo? Este. Estaba René, me parece. Ana Demi. Ana Demi, sí, Ana Demi, sí. 
teacher. Hi, yes. <laughs> Anita is here. Carlos is here. And Rene. Mm -hmm. okay. I am here right now, but mm -hmm. I drive in my car. Oh, so. please be careful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anita, do you hear? Yes. Are you here? Uh, how often do you visit your family? Um, I sometimes visit my family uh, because every family is in Santa Ana City. In Aguachapan City, only family bar and of my husband. Okay. Please give Norbert. me, give me, ¿Sí? yes. háganme una pregunta ahorita. <laughs> ok. ¿Cuánto <laughs> um, nice. do you ride a bicycle? René. Sorry, but I... I can't, I couldn't hear you. Maybe you can repeat the question. I, okay, I, how, how often do you ride a bicycle? You don't listen? Well, he, he was driving, so maybe we are having some technical issues. It's fine. Uh -huh. um, okay. What about the rest of you guys? How often do you ride a bicycle? In my case, never, teacher. Um, I uh, do not have, don't have. Okay, but can you ride a bicycle? Yes. So you, you can ride a bicycle, but you don't have. Okay, okay. Yes, Guadalupe. In my case, never uh, ride a bicycle because I afraid, miedo. Oh, you are uh, afraid. Mm -hmm. Afraid to, to to fall. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. But but you can do it. You can learn. Anita, what about you? How often do you ride a bicycle? Um, I. I Anita, are you, are you good? Are you fine? Le escucho la voz ronquita. Uh, are yes, you a uh, Yes. Uh, ojalá que no sea COVID porque ahora, no. bueno, me dieron capacidad porque no, me puse así bien mala de la gripe y, y casi mm. no puedo hablar bien. How many days? ¿Cuántos días tiene? Five, five days. Only five, okay. Pero no le hicieron el examen or anything. Eh, van a evaluar porque tengo que ir después. No me voy a presentar al trabajo, sino que me voy a pre presentar a la clínica empresarial para que me evalúe. Depende um, de cómo siga estos cinco días, me van a hacer la prueba. Y ahora fue el primer día. Ah, uh, yes, teach. Ooh, okay. Well, you know, God willing, primero Dios que, que no, right? Solamente puede ser algo viral y esperemos que que ahí se God willing, you know, you'll be fine. Si es que le escuché la voz de repente un poquito como lastimada, ajá, como un poquito ronquita. So I was like, wait. Está desarrollando. Está en proceso, dije. No, no, Pero le agradezco enormemente por por acompañarnos siempre, you know. I mean, if you feel like participating, that's amazing. Y si no, igual estamos desarrollando listening, right? Nos puede escuchar okay. como usted se sienta mejor, right? At the end. Thank you, teach. That's your health as well. Okay. Okay, guys, what about some of the questions that we have right there? For example, number nine says, how often do you lift weights? Do you lift weights by, by any chance? ¿Alguien levanta eh, peso? Do you lift weight? Como pesitas, do you lift any weight? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice no hay? 
there aren't. It, it aren't. There, there aren't, no hay. There is, there okay, are. There. <laughs> okay, there aren't. Hey, in my case, it's the, um, they are, um, they are um, a jeans. In my in my in my towels. Mm -hmm. There are or there aren't. Sorry. There are. Okay, no hay. No hay jeans. There aren't. Oh. Okay. No, but I mean, wait. Pueden ser como a veces hacemos cosas eh, reciclables, como unas pesitas. Because, for example, my brothers hicieron pesas de, de latas. <laughs> yeah, to do exercise. Do you lift weight? Do you have some weights now? No. Not in your case. Okay, it's okay. Well, Lupe, what about you? Are you into exercising? No, um, I hardly ever. You hardly ever do it. Okay, okay, no worries, guys. Thank you so much for your answers because I don't have more time. Oh, okay. Do you I arrive work. late? Yes. What time do you get to your house? And in the morning I go I I go to I, I leave my house and yo me voy de la casa. I leave my house. I leave my house at uh, 5 a.m. Wow. And I write at mm -hmm. uh, 7 p.m. No. Why? How many? Because, Pero por el traffic. Because of the traffic? Uh, the schedule of uh, my work is the 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Okay. Do you work on and Sunday the, and Saturdays? On Saturday, no. Only look uh, Monday to Friday. Oh, from Monday to Friday. Okay, that's why. Oh, okay. the traffic uh, is is very bad. <laughs> yeah, I I remember that you mentioned that last time that because of the traffic, the traffic was horrible. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, but on the weekend, you know, Saturday, Sunday, me imagino que ya ni, ni, ni ganas le dan, right? <laughs> so it's hard there. Okay. Okay, guys. Nice. Nice listening to you. Vamos a regresar. Let's go back there. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you guys for coming back. Vamos a esperar un momentito for everybody to be back as well. So hold on. Just wait a moment. Wait a bit. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for coming back. I see everybody's back right now. We were discussing some of these questions, and of course, I would like to listen to your classmates' answer. Que fue lo que dijeron. So what did they say and why, right? For example, eh, number three says, how often do you eat junk food? So, ¿qué les dijeron los compañeros? What did they say? Dolores. Yes. Dolores rarely uh, eat a uh, junk food. Because mm -hmm. she prefer to cook at home. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice answer. Please, Dolores, cook Ricardo. for me, cook for us. <laughs> yeah, Ricardo. 
Ricardo rarely uh, eat drink eat uh, sorry uh, junk food because uh, he prefer cook in her house. Oh, okay. So he prefers co co uh, cooking. Well, I remember that Richard estaba dieta. Yeah. I remember Richard was on a diet. Yes. Me. Are you still yes. on a diet? Yes. Oh, okay. Brian, are you on a diet too? Yes. Brian, Brian uh, also do you drink a uh, uh, natural uh, tamarindo? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, zanahoria. Carrot? Carrot. Yes. With, with orange. Mango, mango, no like, no like. He doesn't like. No like. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't like. Uh, <laughs> reference. Brian. Okay, so Brian prefers some natural drinks. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. That's great. Guys, what about the, what about number six? How often do you visit your family? What do your classmates say about that? How often do they visit their family? Anybody? Yes. Uh, how can visit uh, your family? Uh, uh, who? Who? King. Who? 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 Uh, family uh, visit? Uh, uh, Saturday? You, Richard, or Brian? Okay. No, I, I mean, King. Oh, that, oh, that's your answer. Yes. Okay. So it that's your answer. answer. Got it. That's, got it. So, in that it. case, that would be my family, right? Como mía. Mm -hmm. yes. So, I always visit my family. Okay. Okay. On yes. Saturday, you said. All right. That's perfect. Claudia, what about you? How often do you visit your family? Or your classmates? ¿Qué le dijeron? What did they say? Uh, Richard, um, or, uh, maybe always, mm -hmm. Saturday, visit your family. Mm -hmm. He visits his family. And you, how often do you visit your family? Um, I am, no sé cómo decirle teacher, pero es que yo no lo visito porque aquí, es, aquí viven. <laughs> Oh, oh, so no, 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 that's okay. That's perfect. So you can say, well, I live with my family. I live with uh -huh. my family. So there is no need to visit them. <laughs> okay. No, oh, but that's beautiful. Um, okay. So your parents, am... do your parents live with you? Yes. Oh, your brothers and sisters? Um, Never. Do you have a no brother? Tengo. Oh, you no. don't have a brother or sister. I, no. Mm -hmm. Are you an only child? Is he how única? Yes. What a blessing. <laughs> okay. So there is an expression that is I am I am an only child. So I única. So I am an only child. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't you miss having a sister or a brother? No le hace falta tener con quien pelear. Don't you miss a brother or sister? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. No. Okay, okay, cool, cool. What about the, okay, let's take a look at number eight. How often do you go to the dentist? Hi, Ignacio, good evening. Acabo de leer su mensaje. Thank you so much. So how often I, do you go to the dentist, people? I always, uh, Always months visit the dentist. Okay, once so a, a month. You go to the dentist once I, a month. I have a, braces. I don't remember what braces. Braces. Mm -hmm. braces. Okay, okay. What about the rest of you? How often do you go to the dentist? Once a year, twice a year, every month. Twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. And number nine, que es un poco menos común, I would say, how often do you lift weight? Que tan seguido levantan peso. How often do you lift weight? Never? Rarely. Rarely? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. What about the rest of you? 
¿Levantan peso? Do you do any sort of exercise? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Well, I have to say often. So I often lift weight. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do exercise, but yeah, I lift weight. Maybe too much. <laughs> okay. But that is the idea, right? So nice, okay. nice. Okay. Let's take a look at some questions here. I have just a couple of them and let's take a look at them. For example, number one says, how many people are there in your family? Number two, can you describe them? Como personality, right? Um, so my mother is, como es ella? Uh, my father is, etc. Where do you live and who do you live with? What do you prefer, living alone or living with your family? And how often do you visit other family members for example, grandparents, aunts, uncles, etc. So what I want you to do right now is the following. Eh, quiero que escojan uno de esos temas. I want you to select one of the topics right here, right? And I'm going to give you like four minutes, eh, four or five minutes, para que puedan tomar notas. So you can take notes of your answer. Of course, no es necesario que lo escriban, pero sí algunas palabras que se les pueden olvidar or that you don't really know. Eh, les voy a dar cinco minutos para que puedan practicar este tema. And then vamos a tener un minuto presentation. One minute presentation. Ayer los 30 segundos es mentira, no nos alcanzaron. So we needed more time. And today I believe tenemos tiempo suficiente para escuchar a la mayoría. So we are going to listen to uh, as many people as possible para tener la oportunidad de escucharlos. Eh, para saber qué vamos a trabajar, you know, qué es lo que debemos enfatizar, etc. So, uh, escojan Hola. un tema, select, hello, so, <laughs> seleccionen un tema, select the topic, please, y describanlo por un minuto. Um, mi recomendación siempre es, um, podemos po poner en mute el micrófono, right, y díganlo en voz alta, say it out loud, para que ustedes vayan organizando la idea y empezando a pensar en inglés también, right? Para que venga un poco más de fl eh, fluidez, vocabulary, etc. Y si hay alguna palabra que no saben cómo decirla, es el momento para decir, ah, ¿cómo se dice esto? Lo voy a buscar, right? So, cinco minutitos. Tienen hasta las 38 y luego comenzamos. Then we get started. Uh, ¿Alguien quiere ser voluntario? ¿Alguien quiere ir primero después de los five minutes? Thank you, Ignacio. Okay, perfect. So Ignacio is going to be the first. Ignacio is first. Mute. Sorry, I am mute. No, 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 no worries. Um, yeah, right, yeah, right now, le voy a dar eh, hasta las 38 para que la pueda pensar. You know, you can organize your ideas, puede revisar vocabulario que sea nuevo. Mm -hmm. Y a las 38 comenzamos con usted. So you'll be the first. Ok. Es un minuto, es un poquito más de tiempo, guys. So practíquenlo, please. Practice it.
Two more minutes. It's about time. Okay, everybody, so it's about time for us, right? So we're going to like go and listen to you. Remember, solamente es uno de estos temas. It's only one of these topics. Um, because it is one minute, probably we need some expressions para seguir hablando, to keep this thing going. ¿Cuáles son algunas de las expresiones que puedo utilizar si se me olvida qué voy a decir o si necesito tiempo para pensar? First, puedo utilizar well, right? Que es como, no es bueno, sino es como, mm, este, ok. So we can use well. We can use let me think. All right. So let me think. Déjeme pensar, permítame pensar un momento. Ya, yeah, so let me think about it. Let me think about it, let me think for a moment, right? Cualquiera de esos funciona, because lo que estoy haciendo es sigo hablando, right? No me quedo callado, sigo hablando, aunque ya no recuerde qué más tengo que decir. So, son algunos de los tru trucos que nos ayudan con fluidez, right? La idea de fluidez es no quedarme callado, sino seguir, you know, continue. So let me think about it, you can say, um, It is hard to remember, for example, como me, me cuesta recordarlo o que difícil recordarlo, it's hard to remember. Eh, allow me one second, allow me one second, allow me one minute, right? So, um, what am I saying con estas expresiones o para qué me van a ayudar? Pretty much, es para, me ayuden con fluidez, no me quedo callada, sino que sigo hablando y me da tiempo para pensar y organizar mis ideas. So, uh, los invito a que las ocupemos, please. Use them cuando estén dando una opinión. So, whatever you want to say. So, you can just say like, mm, well, y siguen hablando. Well, let me think about it. It's a little difficult to remember. Y ya hablé por 10 segundos más, you know. So, esa es la idea. That is the idea. Keep on talking, keep on talking. Sigan hablando. Um, a couple of things more. Como es un minuto, la idea del minuto es que no nos detengamos. Don't stop. Si se quedan sin ideas, diga la palabra en español, pero intente seguir en inglés, right? De esto se trata de presionarse ustedes 
put a little pressure um, in your description y presionarse ustedes mismos también para llegar hasta el minuto, right? You can do it, guys. Todos lo pueden hacer, definitely. Si se sienten como que ya no tengo más ideas, guys, les pido que nos eh, ayúdennos, right? Denos una palabrita por ahí para que pueda seguir hablando el compañero. And of course, listen carefully. Escuchemos lo que ellos nos tienen que contar porque también vamos a educar nuestro oído. Eh, for example, Ignacio is going to be the first person, pero el escuchar a Ignacio es importante porque estoy educando mi oído. Estoy intentando entender qué es lo que él está contando, right? And if you don't get it, también díganos, oh, can you repeat that? What is that word? No le entendí, I didn't understand. So that is perfect. Um, Ignacio, you're going to be our first person. Thank you so much for that. So brave, you know, of you to do it. So yes. I'm going I, to, you. I know <laughs> you like it. <laughs> And we like listening to you as well. So voy a poner solamente el cronómetro. I'm going to place the time is this um, the timer here para que, you know, we have a, todos tengamos la oportunidad de participar, right? Eh, tengo 20. ¿Qué se me salió? Wait, wait, me falta alguien. I'm missing somebody. I'm missing somebody. Ok. Chicos, ¿estamos listos? ¿Is everybody ready? Más o menos. <ríe> Ni modo, anyways. Yeah, yeah, <ríe> ok, yeah, antes de iniciar, Ignacio, escojamos quién va a ser el siguiente para que se prepare, you know? Para que ya eh, psicológicamente gets ready. But, but, but I, okay. Teacher, but I chose, chose the... Dígame el número. Tell me the number. Ah, her name or number. Tell number. me the number, si no se quiere sentir muy comprometido. Number. It's okay, give me a yeah. number. Okay, the next for... The next after me was a uh, number... Seven. So number seven is Guadalupe. <laughs> okay, seven. Guadalupe. Think about it, Guadalupe. You know, empieza a prepararse so you can get ready after him. Eh, Guadalupe, dígame el siguiente. Tell me the next para que ya tengamos los tres. Number 12. Number 12. So that is Bonilla, Mr. Um, Alex Bonilla. No sé si Alex está por acá. Creo que estaba trabajando, right? Eh, René. Recuerdo ayer mencionó que iba a trabajar hasta tarde. I'm not quite sure if he's here. Y si no, just in case, escojamos a alguien más. Select another number. In case he can no make um, it, we go for next. Okay. Number three. Number three. So that is uh, Danis. Ok, <laughs> that's going to be Danis. Ok, so ya tenemos los primeros four, let's say. Ok, perfect. Ignacio, you have a minute. Eh, díganos cuál seleccionó and go. Guys, escuchemos. Si quieren ayudarle con alguna palabrita, feel free. No, no problem. Ok, go Ignacio. Ok, I do select the number five question. Mm -hmm. And um, I start to speak about the, I live in Soyapango. But I live in the Los Planes de Rendero too much time. And uh, I always to visit my parents every week. But when they pass away, now I only go every month, mm -hmm. you know, and things have changed and I must accept that is not longer the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you have 15 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds. Oh, too much. You can do uh, it. <laughs> but in uh, uh, that, that's, that time, that time I going to visit my suegra. I don't know the speaking in English. <laughs> time is over. Time is over. Okay. Yeah. Very good job, Ignacio. You made it. One minute. In love. Yeah, yeah, thank Ignacio. you so much. Exactly. That is mother in love. You did it nicely. Very good job. Yeah, I know. 
uh, un minuto se siente, bueno, well, no se siente largo, it's not that long, you know, oh. but you did it nicely, you did it super, super nicely. Suegra is mother-in-law in English. Se lo acabo de escribir um, en el chat, uh, uh, para que ya nos quede lady, guardado, mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. no, low, no que low. Low. Low, ajá, mother-in-law. Low. No, low, low. No, low. No, de, no de amor. <laughs> no, es de ley, exactly, so mother-in-law. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, but nicely, very good use of vocabulary, grammatically talking super bien, Ignacio. Good, we made it. Guadalupe, well, you are the second person. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't want to call it victim, aunque sí. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's get started. Tiene un minutito, you got a minute. Let's do it. Okay. I uh, talking about my visit my father. Is uh, usually I visit my father one or two or two uh, times a month. Times a month. Uh, he he live in Ciudad uh, She has a uh, uh, seven seventy nine years old. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, he live with my my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a Christian. <clears throat> uh, when I visit my my father, I talk about the 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 topic the the the, the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, is with. Uh, Time is over. Time is over. You made it nicely. That is really nice talking about them. Okay. And I'm, I'm very uh, happy for you because you have the opportunity to visit them. And they are old. They are really old. But that's a blessing to have them in your life. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Alex, está por aquí? are you around? I don't think so. So, Danis, let's go with you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, antes de iniciar with you, Danis, eh, selección el siguiente. Select the next person. The mi numero. Give me a number, please. Uh, number nine. Okay. So, number nine, that belongs to Jocelyn, pero no sé si Jocelyn was available. Deme otro número. Give me another number, just in case. Oh. Uh... Five? Five, okay. So oh. number five is Dolores. So next person uh, can be Jocelyn or Dolores. Anybody who is ready. Okay. Okay, okay. Then uh, Marvin is trabajando. Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank you so much, Marvin. Okay, perfect, guys. So, Danny, still a minute. You have a minute. Um, okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I select the item five. Uh, I visit my mother and my brother every Saturday. Uh, we like the cook chicken soup. Okay. And on Sunday, visit my mother-in-law and brother-in-law. Okay. I'll take the opportunity to go to the beach. I love the beach. I um, love enjoy my when my daughter, I take the opportunity the cook on seafood. On seafood is my favorite. Eat. Food. Food. Mm -hmm. My favorite food. And I like the, the Liberty City, mm -hmm. the, the place. Or, Okay. Time is over. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. That was a very nice description. Thank you a lot for that. Already. So, Danny is over. Uh, Jocelyn, let us know if you are available. I thought you were into something. Otherwise, let's go with Dolores while Jocelyn comes back. So, Dolores, are you ready? Yes. I am ready. Oh, I like I like your voice. Me gusta el tono de su voz. 
Suena como bien enérgica. It sounds like, like very upbeat. Nice. Dolores, just in case, eh, dígame el siguiente número. Tell me what is going to be the next number para que ella se prepare, you know? Okay. Seven. Okay, number seven. Um, ya, ya era Guadalupe. Next number. Uh, eight. Okay, number eight is Jackie. So, Jackie, number eight. Vamos después de Dolores y después de Jackie. Dígame otro número. Tell me another number. Okay. Del 1 al 24. From 1 to 24. 11. And number 11, so that is Norberto. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, uh, solo voy a dejar acá. I'm going to set this ready. You have one minute. Okay, si necesita alguna palabra en español, say it in Spanish, pero siga, right? But continue. Okay, listo, okay. ready? Okay. Let's do it. Then the number one. Mm -hmm. My family, my family consists of six members my father my mother my sister and my brother and my little dog name name bonnie she yeah. is the darling of the family we all, all go out to work and at night we return home, home, always meet at dinner. But when I have English class, I have to eat se se separado. separately. Separately, okay. away, Separ away. Separately, mm -hmm. okay, away, uh -huh. It's over. Okay. Time is over. That was nice. Very good job. Very good description. I like it. I like your use of vocabulary. That was good. And I'm happy we are having this activity. Porque creo que no la había escuchado por un periodo largo. So nice. Very okay. good. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Thank you. My next person is Jackie. Jackie está por aquí. Sorry. Hey, Danny, Alberta. How are Rolly? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see his dog there. Yes, Rolly. Now, in the meantime. Uh, it, it's fine. Bull? Let me see Jackie. Okay. So I think Jackie had some problems with the internet. She left. Okay. So in the meantime, let's go with next person. Y el siguiente era Norbert. Thank you, Norbert. Hello, teacher. Hello. Tenemos un minuto, Norbert. You got a minute. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I am select the question. Uh, what do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Living alone or living with your family? Mm -hmm. uh, I am prefer... Uh, living alone uh, because for me it's bad uh, when the family is big uh, um, with my family on with my own family mm -hmm. uh, i am mean uh, with my father's mother's brother mm -hmm. sister uh, I prefer the best alone uh, if... and time is over <laughs> thank you Norbert thank you so much for your description all right um thank you guys that was a really really good practice Thanks everybody for getting ready for that. Um, remember, this is a matter of me voy a presionar para intentar hablar, right? Así que thank you. Yo sé que los demás estaban listos también. But uh, because of the time, hopefully el día lunes we can continue doing this. 
So, along the module, vamos a intentar hacerlo every single day, at least to listen to different people, because eso nos ayuda a crear un poco más de fluidez, you know, y que se me vaya el miedo, right? Uh, hablar o acometer error, errores, que de eso se trata as well. Um, guys, remember that at the very beginning, eh, tuvimos como compromisos personales, right? Me voy a aprender dos palabras diarias, diez palabras diarias, eh, diez verbos a la semana, presente, pasado, participio, o voy a ver películas or something. Los invito a que recuerden cuál es su goal, cuál es el objetivo o el compromiso con ustedes mismos y que pues trabajemos por ello, right? And um, something else, en la plataforma estamos en la unidad 2, la tendríamos que estar terminando el día miércoles. Eh, please, guys, don't forget to complete the exercises. De ser posible, si no trabajan o tienen un par de minutos libres el día sábado y domingo, les pediría que lo completemos el fin de semana. Así, en, en la semana ya estamos más tranquilos, you know, no están ustedes con la preocupación de no he hecho la tarea, o con la preocupación de tengo que hacer esto y no tengo tiempo, right? So please, Saturday and Sunday, work on it, yes. para que ya estamos listos, so we can be ready. Oh. Gracias, Marvin. <laughs> Le voy a tomar asistencia, chicos, antes de irnos. Let me take your attendance. Ya veo que Marvin me está diciendo que está presente. <laughs> okay. So, si me ayudan con su camarita, help me out with your camera. Just a moment. Let me read all your names. Eh, Anita. Gracias, Brian. Present, present, present. Okay, uh, Danis. Present. Thank you, Dolores. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Oh, Jackie, creo que mm, her internet's bad. Jocelyn, well, Jocelyn, la vi por ahí. Some seconds ago. Ignacio. Thank you. Eh, Norbert. Present. Thank you. Eh, Marvin, well, Alex me Present. acaba de escribir. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. <laughs> Marvin López. Mr. López está por acá. Creo que no había Marvin. Ok. Eh, Clary. Hello, Miss. I am present. Thank you so much. Moses. Present. Gracias. Nelson. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Nelson. Eh, Pedrina. Ya la vi, Miss. Gracias. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know you're there. Espero que haya finalizado, Miss. Hopefully. You got everything. Rene. Rene, Rene. Well, lo escuché hace unos minutitos. Eh, oh, creo que iba, he was driving. Ricardo, gracias. <laughs> ya se fue hasta el orden. <laughs> so you know the order. Okay, uh, Mabel. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Brenda. Oh, we missed Brenda today. De chalet, pero que está Brenda. Why? No Brenda. No le creo, Ando. No, well, no le, I didn't see her. De chalet, que okay. está. Mocking Richard. He is, he's mocking her. No, but she's not here. Uh, yeah. She's not here, that's why. Uh, Carlos. Present. Gracias, Claudia. Present. Thank you. And Karina. Present. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, everybody. So thanks a lot for joining today's class. Eh, tenemos una asistencia super buena this module. Please don't miss it. Nos vemos el día lunes. Avancen con, la, uh, con las actividades, please. Les voy a estar posteando este fin de semana ejercicios para listening, right? Y también para fluidez, para que vayamos desarrollando pronunciación y fluidez at the same time. Eh, nos vemos, guys. Los veo el día lunes. See you at 8 p.m. Have a good weekend. Que descansen. Bye, everybody. See you bye. in the Guadalupe. Me regalo una Bye. 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 Bye.
Good night, teacher. Bye. See, see you. you Monday. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye, Clary. Bye, Danny. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss. Thank you so much. Le voy a robar acá un par de minutitos para que tengamos nuestra sesión 101, right? Um, previously, well, no, no habíamos tenido one on one con usted. So, okay. So, uh, well, na, nada, Guadalupe. I want to get started by saying, um, siento que va mejorando súper bien, you know. So, se está comunicando mucho más fluidamente. You got more vocabulary. Eh, le escucho como más participativa. Eh, y está desarrollando muy buena pronunciación. ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel about it? Eh, sí, este, sí, a veces me cuesta un poquito como ordenar las palabras, ¿verdad? Pero, claro. Pero trato la manera de, 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 de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Y sé que eso me ayuda a, a, a como dice usted, a, a si cometo errores, puedes corregir. Yes, of course. No, but, but to be honest, I mean, hemos estado solamente seis módulos, esto es basic, y siento que se comunica súper bien. So you're communicating nicely. Um, so, let, let, me, let me just, eh, ahora estuvimos practicando un par de preguntitas, right? Um, I, I could listen to you, eh, solamente antes que se me olvide, eh, esto se me olvidó mencionarlo, but... But, I, but it, this is a, like a very good chance. Solo una cosita con el verbo to be. Um, uh -huh. Creo que escuché, um, no estoy segura. I think I heard this one. Eh, cuando me hablaba de, de this specific person. Y me decía, uh -huh. he has. Solamente con, con la edad, siempre que mencionemos years old, voy a cambiar el has. En español digo, él tiene, yo tengo. Uh -huh. Pero en inglés utilizamos el verbo to be. He is... O 80, 90, 70. Eso es lo único que le escucho por ahí. De lo contrario, okay. pues súper bien. Very, very good. Ok. okay. So I think we can practice. I think I can listen to you a little bit more. Eh, también para ver de qué manera, you know, I can help you or I can... Eh, le voy a... Ya borré. Permítame. Que me, ya está seco. Ok. Um, en general, ¿cómo se siente con los pasados? Con este tema de presente simple, ya lo habíamos revisado antes, no, no es muy, muy nuevo. But how do you feel with them? ¿Hay algún tema que le esté costando ahorita o que necesite un poquito de ayuda o solo practicamos? Eh, quizá un poco con el will. Oh, ok. Ok. Ajá. No hemos visto ese tema. We have not studied that topic, pero por supuesto, we can definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay, Estamos viendo, pero no sé si como muy a fondo. Um, el will o el would. Um, will o no. Eh, hemos visto el would, right? El ah. will todavía no, pero, pero podemos revisarlo, no hay ningún problema. ¿Cuál de los dos? Eh, el will. Ok, will. Very good. So, la parte de would, right? Um, Deme solo un segundo. Me están llamando, no sé por qué. Give me just a okay. second. Ok. Sorry, ok. So, um, ok, el uso de will es solo para futuros, right? We are going to use this word solamente para hablar de cosas a futuro. Um, will no son planes, sino que will son más predicciones, right? So, these are predictions de cosas que pueden o no pueden pasar en el futuro. So, digamos que es como un 50% de probabilidad that this is going to happen. If I ask you, for example, what will you do? In December. Okay. So um, I'm not asking you si ya tiene plans or anything, sino es como en general. ¿Qué cree usted que va a hacer? What do you think? 
So, okay. eh, normally, la respuesta solamente la utilizo con I will, right? Yo voy a. Y luego el verbo. For example, I will cook eh, for December the 24th. Voy a cocinar. I will cook. O no voy a estar en la casa. La forma negativa de will es will y luego con not. Pero esto también se puede hacer un, más corto utilizando won't. So, I won't. Uh, no voy a estar en mi casa. I won't be at home. Voy a estar viajando. I will travel in December. I will be in Canada, right? I will... Um, no se me ocurre que voy a hacer en diciembre. <laughs> I will work. <laughs> okay. Or I will visit my family. So what about you? What will you do? Esto no es un plan. Es más cuando usted dice, quizá voy a hacer esto. Este es un maybe. So what do you think you will do in December? Uh, I will uh, have a party. Oh, very nice. Okay. Like for the end of the year. Um, the end of the year. Okay. So you will have a party. Nice. ¿Qué más? What else? Mm, I will buy the, the, the new clothes. Oh, nice, with the aguinaldo. <laughs> okay, okay, nice, I like it. All right, okay. So what will you do? What will you do with your aguinaldo? ¿Cómo que haría? ¿Cómo? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. What will you do with your aguinaldo, with your bonus? So, como es una predicción, o se puede inventarse cualquier cosa. <laughs> Me lo voy a gastar en un día. <laughs> I will spend it in a day. Uh -huh. I will travel. I will ah, travel. Cool. Where? Where will you go? Um, to the beach. Oh, okay. Alone or with your family? With my family. No, go alone. <laughs> Okay, will you go to the camera? No. Which beach? Uh, Which beach uh -huh. do you like? Uh, I like the, 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 ¿cómo se llama? I don't remember. En la libertad, en la paz, en San Miguel. En la paz. Oh, in La Libertad, there are beautiful beaches in La Paz. For example, maybe my favorite is San Diego, but you have El Palmarcito, El Sunsal, you know. Um, what other beach do you have? Yeah, there are beautiful beaches. Okay, okay, nice. Um, now, what about in 10 years? What will you do in 10 years? 10 years. Um... I think the same in the same world. You'll in be the in the same, same job. Okay. Ya se habrá retirado. Will, will you retire in 10 years? No. No yet? Eh, no yet. Eh, me faltaría. I will be missing. Uh, I, will mean, I will be missing uh, two or three years. Um, okay. Like, so you will retire like in 12 or 13 years. Mm -hmm. Ah, but that's nice. I will retire maybe in 20 or 30. <laughs> okay. So that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, okay. Well, but you use will nicely. De hecho, es, es bien fácil. It's very easy because solamente es como ponerle al verbo I will. Y eso es todo. Eso es futuro. El negativo, si ya, um, well, agregamos el not, ¿verdad? I will not. O utilizo la contracción I won't. Ah, yo no voy a hacer esto. I won't do it. <laughs> so I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't do it. Eh, Más o menos bien con esto. Are we good with this? Yes, solo este, eh, con el verbo to be igual, no, no cambia. No, con el verbo to be de hecho ni se conjuga, sino que se usa exactamente igual. I will be. Yeah. Eh, este sí ya no hay como otras conjugaciones. Eh, sino que es como yo voy a ser o yo voy a estar. O voy a tener tantos años, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, in 10 years, voy a estar en Australia. I will be in Australia. Or in 10 years, eh, 
I will be maybe in another country. I will be in another company. I will, voy a tener mi negocio, o voy a ser empresaria. I will be a business woman. Entonces, lo único que, que tal vez es diferente es que ya no se cambia, no se, eh, no se conjuga. Se usa cabal así. I will be, or I won't be. Yo no voy a ser. Uh -huh. Ok. That is the one. Le voy a enviar un par de ejercicios de grammar por si you know, los quiere revisar. You can take a look, but eh, pretty much that would be it. All right. So, uh, Guadalupe, no le robo más tiempo. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Um, Sigámosle metiendo ganas. Está haciendo un muy buen trabajo. You're doing a nice job. Eh, siento que del grupo se comunica súper bien. So, eh, sí, logro ver como los pasos así enormes que está dando. Así que, nada, metámosle, you know. Eh, y estoy segura que en un par de meses ya va a estar hablando súper genial, you know, súper fácil. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you so much. Eh, nos vemos el día lunes al Visión Yo Monday y solo trabajemos con la plataforma Forja. <laughs> All right. Que descansen, yeah. mis. Yeah. Have a good night.